Did you know that you can get your own free version of Confluence to play around with and learn how it works? I'm going to show you how. Confluence is a great tool that many companies use to help manage their knowledge, collaborate, and share information. But sometimes we don't have access to Confluence and we want to test something out or just learn how it works or even use it for our own purposes, our own documentation at home or for a side gig or something. The good news is you can get a free copy of it. It's a little bit limited. It doesn't have every single feature like the artificial intelligence or some permissioning. But I'm going to show you how you can get an instance to use for yourself. All you have to do is go to this webpage, and I'll put the link in the description, atlassian.com slash software slash confluence slash pricing, and then just select the free version. The only thing you're going to need is an email. I'm going to link my Google account. So if you use any of these providers, you can use it for SSO. And I'm just going to authorize it. And now I'm going to work through the signup flow. It's going to copy in my work email. And now I get to give it a name. Because it's Confluence Cloud, it's going to end in .atlassian.net. But I'll call mine Heentech. The green check mark means the name is available. If it's red, someone's already taken it. So I'll have to try something else. But I'll click Continue. And that's about it. Now Atlassian is going to go through and generate this instance for me. And when it's done, I'm going to have my own instance that I can use just like anyone else using Confluence Cloud. Again, there's a couple limitations, but on the whole, this is everything in Confluence. It's a wonderful way to learn and to practice skills you might want to apply at your job or if you're looking to get a job or some kind of certification. And now that it's done, I can see up in my URL bar, heen-tech, this is the site that I chose. And then it's going to walk me through some questions just to help figure out what I want to do in it. I'll say trying it out. I'll say I'm in IT support. And then optionally, I can invite up to nine other people to work in here with me for free. Teams bigger than that, I think you have to pay for. But if I have a small group of folks I want to invite, I can do that. And once I click finish, here's my instance. It does come preceded with some things. I've got an IT support example and a knowledge base. So it's a great way to get started. So that's it. That's how you can get your own free Confluence instance. All you need is an email. You can set up one for free over on gmail.com. And then you can start using Confluence with a small group. If you have any questions about Confluence or this or any of the challenges, drop a comment. I'll be happy to help you out. If you liked it, please click that thumbs up and the bell and subscribe for more. I'll be regularly publishing new stuff about using Confluence, how it can be used, and my experience with it. So thanks again for watching, and I'm looking forward to seeing you around here again soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.